assalamu alaikum today i am going to present the topic of genetic recombination in bacteria in this video i will tell you about three main types or you can say three main opportunities of genetic recombination in bacteria i will explain all of the three main opportunities in a very explanatory manner in my later videos and in this video i will also tell you some important or basic terms regarding genetic recombination which you must know before understanding this topic so let's start the session few basic terms regarding genetic recombination number one is the minimal medium minimal medium is a dark medium that have a substrate which consists of three ingredients number one inorganic salts number two a carbon source for energy number three water that means only those bacteria which can produce organic factors needed for their growth can grow on a minimal medium and if you want to grow those bacteria which cannot grow organic factors needed for their growth so and we want to grow them on a minimal medium so we have to provide some of important supplements or you can say organic factors which help them out for their growth or for the formation of their colonies next is bacteriophage bacteriophage is a type of virus that infects bacteria bacteriophage literally means bacteria eater so its name represent its definition you must know wild type bacteria and the mutant bacteria as well wild type bacteria are those bacteria having the traits same as their parents do while the mutant bacteria is having the different traits with respect to their parents or you can say those bacteria which have experiences of genetic recombination are called the mutant bacteria wild type bacteria are prototrophic it means they can synthesize all the organic factors needed for their growth so they can grow on a minimal medium without any specific nutrient while the mutant bacteria are oxotrophic that they cannot synthesize the organic factors so they require these organic factors for their growth in a minimal medium and these organic factors or the specific nutrients are adenine threonine and biotin wild type bacteria are susceptible to certain inhibitors such as streptomycin while mutant bacteria can form colonies instead of presence of inhibitor now what is genetic recombination genetic recombination can also known as we can also say that the second name of genetic recombination is genetic reshuffling reshuffling means exchange moving of something from one place to another so there is reshuffling of something and something is that genetic material so it is exchange of genetic material between different organisms a very simple definition now what would be the result so those bacteria which are having experience of genetic recombination when they produce offsprings then those then that offsprings having different traits as their innate parents do or innate parents have now what are three possible ways for the transfer of genetic material number 1 conjugation number 2 transformation number 3 is transduction now number 1 conjugation conjugation is basically the transfer of genetic material from one bacteria to another bacteria through temporary union you can see in this picture that one of the bacteria unite with another bacteria and transfer the genetic genetic material to another bacteria so the transfer of genetic material through bacteria or we can say from one bacteria to another bacteria is called conjugation the second is the transformation transformation bacteria take dna from environment and incorporate in its own chromosome you can see in the picture it is a very simple picture in, in order to just make you understand whenever the bacteria and the rest or the recipient bacteria 
feels and gets that the genetic material is present in its environment then it takes that genetic material in its cytoplasm and then gets incorporated in its own chromosome which is shown red color in this picture number third is transduction when the genetic material is transferred from one bacteria to another bacteria through a third source that is a bacteriophage then this is called transduction when a bacteriophage take dna material from one bacteria and insert it into the, an, another bacteria then this is called transduction so all of three definitions are very simple whenever the genetic material is transferred from one bacteria to another bacteria through a temporary union then it is called conjugation when the genetic material is transferred into a bacteria from environment from the by the bacteria of its own self then it is called transformation and when the bacteria when the genetic material is transformed from one bacteria to another bacteria through a bacterial phase then that is called transduction so guys hope you like this video and understand the topic of genetic recombination as well as the most important terms which you must know if you have any query then please comment in the comment box and i will resolve it soon we'll meet you in my next video allah hafiz